no fear, no hesitation. Come off the ball, take your shot, and go get after these guys tonight. The bottom line is, it's time to go be a dog tonight and go get one. What a night. It's Texas high school football Friday night and a title shot right here in our house. What more could you ask for? Okay. Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West. A proud supporter of all area local sports, McCombs Ford West, simply the best. This game wrap is presented by Bulldog Bubbles Car Wash and the Clothespin. Clean clothes, clean cars, and clean water in the heart of Somerset. Visit the car wash on Somerset Road and the laundromat on 5th Street. And by San Antonio Masonry and Steel. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great area high school and local sports coverage, TV, radio, and cheap web streams refuse to cover. And check out my Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1980. It's fast, it's free, and the UIL will love you if you do it. Thanks so much and enjoy the show. Bernie High taking on Somerset in what is the de facto 14-4A Division I district title game. It's going to be a windy night. You can see I look like I just got out of the J.C. Penney's. Let's take a look at the district standings brought to you by Bulldogs, Bubble Car Wash, and the Clothespin. Somerset, if they win tonight, they are the district champions two years after going two and seven. Bernie High, if they win and beat Fredericksburg next week, they're the district champions. They could also get that district title tonight with a win and a Fredericksburg loss. Fredericksburg and Uvalde are both in win and in situations. This one has been bubbling up ever since week one. Let's head to the field and check out all the highlights presented by McCombs Ford West, San Antonio Masonry and Steel, Bulldog, Bubble Car Wash, and the Clothespin. Bernie High led by the Great Wall of Bernie. That's five offensive linemen who are all projected to play D1 college ball down the road, plus a defense that could get them to December football. The game on In exchange gifts yeah. for the student trainers. Face up, face up, face up. Coy Detmer has done a great job rebuilding Somerset after the passing of his dad two years ago in the nightmarish 2020 season. He has them in line for future success themselves. Detmer allowed pregame locker room access to everybody at the stadium wearing bow ties before the game. Front and coverage, formation identification, okay? All of those things gotta be there, okay? Stance, alignment, all the different things, make the calls, then we can go to work. What a night. It's Texas high school football Friday night and a title shot right here in our house. What more could you ask for? Okay. No fear, no hesitation. Come off the ball, take your shot, and go get after these guys tonight. The bottom line is, it's time to go be a dog tonight and go get one. Let's go get one. We practice that a lot, and our our line is very they're uh, just very um, they're very good at what they do. They they wait for the other team to jump off sides, and then they move, and it's a flag.
the play before that, my brother had kind of underthrown me, so I just kind of just gave him a little nod to tell him to throw it a little bit further for the next play. So he threw it perfectly, and I timed the jump and just got over the guy. The game was actually decided by Somerset offside fouls. Seven times in the game, they were flagged for it three times in the first quarter and one on a fourth down that extended a drive that led to a Bernie touchdown. Jackson Bays threw four touchdown passes, including two to his brother, Braden, as the Greyhounds won 34-14 to move to 9-0 for the first time in school history. Our D-line got a lot of pressure. We started loading the box when they were just pounding us. So, I mean, we really got up in there. They started forcing throws and started fumbling the ball and we just we just took it over. Josiah Lugo ran for 168 yards and scored. The Bulldogs though made too many mistakes with the offside penalties and lost discipline in the fourth, but Detmer said losing this game might actually be a good thing for Somerset. We needed this kind of experience, this kind of a game to where you can feel the uh the magnification of mistakes that you make, you know, and, and those kind of things. And so um, being able to play a four quarter game all the way through and in those tough matchups and, and all of that, and uh, we'll be better for it. Here are the updated district standings. If Bernie and Somerset win next week over Fredericksburg and U Valley respectively, the order will stay the same. Should one or both lose, then things could get jumbled up, with Somerset having scenarios where they could finish anywhere from first to fourth. Reporting from the graveyard in Somerset, I am Mr. Bowtie.